having our Mealshoe Art Association presentation today. And uh, this is the first time we've had a show in two years. We had the COVID, of course everybody had the COVID restrictions. Then the next year we had the post-COVID and we weren't sure that we would have very many people uh, feel like they were safe enough to participate. So we have, um, for, you know, first of all, our location has changed from when we had it at the bank. Then the center here at the senior center asked us if we would come have it here. And it has just been absolutely wonderful. The center has been really good to work with. We've got really nice room, good floor space. And we've had a really good uh, show this year. We appreciate everyone that has come. We had 102 uh, <laughs> entries. And they are all, there's not any of them that are just not really, really good. I've got one here that I wanted to uh, recognize. Uh, Brayden, would you come up here? <coughs> Brayden brought in his painting, and I wanted to give this to him, and he got an honorary mention. He's tell you tell him how to do it. Nine. Nine. So this is our future right here of our art. So we want you to be sure and, and come participate again, will you? Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Good job. Um, Sandra Chancy has been our chairman for the show and she's done a wonderful job. Sandra, thank no, you. I, everybody around me did a wonderful job. Well, <laughs> we all work together and we've got a really good club here. And uh, we meet out at the depot at the Heritage and we work with the Heritage and then we're working with the senior citizens as a club. So we've got some really good working situations with, with our community. Um, I'd like to thank the uh, senior citizens for inviting us here and it has just been so nice to have this much room. Uh, we, we were kind of wondering, we had people um, loan us some of their screens. Joan Nix went, uh, loaned us some of her screens from Sudan because we decided that we did not have enough, which was great. You know? So Joan Nix, she has the Joan of Art at Sudan. So she loaned us some of our screens, and we were just so glad that we had to go looking for extra screens. So um, when this presentation is over, uh, be sure when you're picking up your paintings to come over here to the table and sign them out. It's just a protection for you and for us too. Um, the, I wanna thank Gail, who is doing our filming from Channel 6. Gail has always been ready to help and do anything for anybody here in Muleshoe in the area. And uh, he and his mom have just been a, a mainstay here and we appreciate Gail doing it for us. Thank you. Uh, my, most of all, I want to thank the artists that have participated. We had no clue what we were looking at. I told some of the members, I said, I looked at uh, the night before, I dreamed that I was sitting at the table and nobody was coming in with paintings. <laughs> and I was like, drumming my fingers, where are the paintings, where are the paintings, you know? <laughs> so everything has just been so smooth and everybody has been so nice and we've had fun doing it. So I wanna uh, tell everybody how much we appreciate you participating. Uh, we are working with the high school and the students at the high school in the art department and um, Ms. Lopez is their instructor. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to turn it over to Sandy Chitwood. She has quite a background in the art with the high school, so I'm going to turn it over to Sandy. Thank you very much. Hello, I'm Sandy Chitwood, and I'm in charge of the high school art 
and we had some wonderful art that came in. Alyssa Lopez is their art teacher, and she has done a fabulous job. Uh, at this time, I would like to see the best of show, Judas Reyes. Show us your painting, Judas. This is awesome. Thank you very much and congratulations. Keep your art. What are you classified as? Uh, a junior. A junior, so we can see you another year. <laughs> great, great. Thank you so much and congratulations. for the art students is Anastasia Soto. <coughs> Don't be shy. <laughs> Let's go get your painting, Anastasia. Okay, this is Anastasia and her painting is Ideal to Inferior. And it's a pencil drawing, right? You did a wonderful job. What are you classified as? A junior? Oh, good. We get to see you another year. Well, thank you for entering. You've done a beautiful job. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, second place is Playtime by Mary Lee Mendoza. Come here, Mary Lee. Congratulations, we are so proud of you. Let's go get your painting so gilt. Brother, and she has done a wonderful job. Portraits are very hard, very. What are you classified as? You're also a junior, so we get a chance to see you again another year. Well, thank you for entering, and good luck. Your work is wonderful. You're welcome. I'm going to probably mess this whole thing up. Third place is Ari Ortega. And it's called Una Maravilla. Is that right? Oh, I got an A for Spanish. Okay, let's go get your... This is a painting of Ari's mom right here. It's beautiful. Thank you for entering. What are you classifying? Sophomore. Oh, good. So we have a couple of years left to see you. Thank you for entering, and congratulations. And congratulations to Alyssa for being such a wonderful art teacher. Thank you all for entering. And, oh, I forgot. Sorry. Um, <laughs> to present... <laughs> Well, this has been a stressful morning. Okay, um, Alice Lyles is going to present the rest of the awards. Alice does all of our writing write-ups in the newspaper, and I'm sure you've seen her blogs in the newspaper. She does a wonderful job. Thank you, Alice. We'll start with the acrylics. Uh, third place was Red River and Autumn by Sandra Chitwood and Jill Shoot. <laughs> Thank you. Second place was Sweet You by Ann Johnson in Muleshoe. And first place is Abandoned by Bird John Birdsong from Portalis. <laughs> Thank you guys. I heard you tried to tear it up. <laughs> In the oils category, we had an honorable mention of Zachary by Lois Snyder from Clovis. Third place was Grape Harvest by Peggy Bingham of Metter. Yeah, come get your... <laughs> Please. <laughs>
Uh, second place was Purple Mountains by Pat Weekly of Clovis. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and first place in oils was Adobe House by Kip DeFore of Clovis. In the watercolor division, we had two honorable mentions, Yellow Tulips by Sharon Pickett of Brownfield and Up the Hill by Ann Johnson of Muleshoe. Third place was Aspen by Wanda Leonard of Clovis. <laughs> Thank you, girls. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I appreciate it. Second place was Pretty in Purple by Sandra Chancy of Muleshoe. <laughs> and first place in watercolor was Red Door by John Birdsong from Port Dallas. Thank you again. <laughs> In the pastel and drawing category, we had an honorable mention that you have seen already by Braden of the front loader, front end loader from Friona. Third place was Untitled by Sandra Chancy of Muleshoe. Second place was Summer Glory by Peggy Bingham of Metter. Third place was Meet Me at the Waterhole by Melba Bratcher of Millshoe. Second place was Summer Prickly Pear by Sandra Chitwood of Millshoe. And first place was also by Sandy Chitwood of Millshoe House. In the photography section, we had an honorable mention of the Old Wood House by Ruth Hall from Muleshoe. Third place was Sad Sunflower by Shirley White of Muleshoe. Second place was Fireworks at Homecoming by me, Alice Yay. Wiles of Muleshoe. And first place was Small Treasures by Terry Brewster from Muleshoe. The best of show is displayed right here, and it is Hats by Shirley White of Muleshoe. And while she's standing there by it, I will also tell you that Hats was the People's Choice Award. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I will turn it back over to our president, Ann. Um, Peggy, would you like to say something about your Brownfield show? Yes, I'd be glad to. Okay. Do I need to come up Yes. There? Okay. We try to work with other clubs, and they've been so good about yeah. coming well, and First of out. all, I want to commend all of you, the group here at Muleshoe, for the wonderful, I mean, this is a wonderful show, wonderful facilities, and I'm very impressed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's been a joy to enter Thank here. Um, our show, we're like you, we, we haven't had a show for a couple of years, so we're looking forward to it. And our entry date will be the 19th 
of this month, so it's coming up soon, and we will have it at the Senior Citizens Building there in Brownfield on the Tahoka Highway there in Brownfield where we've had it previously. And it will uh, go from, the entry will be on Tuesday, and our awards will be Saturday afternoon, um, starting what time, Sharon? Do you know? Okay, the awards will be at four o'clock on that Saturday, but we will be open earlier that day for people to come and enjoy. Is that everything? Am I forgetting anything? But just come and bring your paintings. We'd love to have you all. Thanks. Well, there's also a club at Clovis Pintoris that is, we're trying to kind of get it up and running again. And we meet at the, uh, the, the uh, Clovis Community College. And uh, we had a meeting last night, so we're trying to get that going again. Um, they're going to serve chicken and fish here at 1130. If you would like to stay and eat, it's a really good meal. And they could use the support. Uh, we've got the fort in between. It'll be a while. Before. We've got cookies and coffee and water over here. Help yourself. And uh, we just cannot tell y'all how much we appreciate your uh, support and coming. And hopefully we'll be doing this again next year. So thank you so much for coming. And thanks for your uh, participation. Bye.